Bueno, flaques. Café. Café me voy yo. Toma. Okay. You wanna play with? Okay. Say hello to my little friend. Say hello to my little friend. This is the Helio Spring Mini. I've been flying the Helio Spring in my full size 30x30 builds, but lately I've been flying more of my Neutron, which is a 20x20. So I'm curious to see if this Helio Mini is as good as the full size version. The Helio Spring is still rocking a dual F4 and F3 processor. It's got Betaflight OSD, supports D-Shot, Multi-Shot. It can use all RX options with a 5V and 3.5 power supply for the receiver and it's got five full UARTs. You hear that Emacs? UR1 and UR2 have inverters for S-Bus and smart port te telemetry and it's got a dedicated 5 volt buzzer if you're one of the three people that still install physical buzzers. <laughs> It's got an LC filter on the OSD and a filtered camera power, and it can be powered directly off the battery up to 6S. I've been using the Emacs Mini Mag 2 on all my Neutrons. It's been okay, but the lack of viewers is just a little bit pain in the butt. Like I'm running a Crossfire Nano, but instead of running Crossfire Protocol, I have to run the S-Bus because there's no spare viewers you can use. Let me do a swap real quick and then we'll come back and talk about the board. Did you catch that? All right, I'll slow it down for you. So I actually didn't record any of the actual install on this quad because I was told that this is one of six Helio Mini Springs that exist. So I didn't want to screw up the board by trying to film and install at the same time. But I'll just go over the pin layout really quickly according to the diagram that they sent me. Starting with the, the connector, you got VBAT, RX4, ground, NC, no connection, and then motors one, two, three, and four. And then starting up here, it looks like on the back side of the board, they have all the UARTs. And then it looks like on the top side of the board or the side with the micro USB is where all the camera and VTX and RX will be set up. Installing the Spring Mini was just as easy as installing the full size Spring. I'm using the Emacs 35 amp 4-in-1 ESC and on the breakout cable, all I did was rearrange the VBAT and the ground to match the schematic and then I left the motor signal wires the same and then I just remapped them in uh, butterfly and then you can see down here I've got my this is my crossfire nano uh, I've got that hooked up on uh, UART 5 and then I got this white wire is the current wire coming from the Emacs and I've got it hooked up to the little current pin down here on the bottom of the board and then right here is a smart audio I've got that hooked up to TX3 and then on the top side of the board it's pretty standard I've got the camera over here ground power and then video in and the video out is going to the video wire and then I'm powering the board off the 5 volt and ground on the bottom side of the board Something I forgot to mention is the firmware that I'm using on the Helio Spring Mini. Um, when I first flashed it, I used, I think uh, the most current version was like 3.6 something. But when I flashed it and then I plugged in my battery, it wasn't recognizing any of my motors. Like I would go to the motors tab and then all the motors would be grayed out. Um, I don't know if that's a firmware issue or whatever. So I just went back to 3.51, which is what I always run and um, everything seems fine. Um, so I don't think that really matters because this is more of a review on the hardware and not the firmware. So this is the rig that I'll be testing the Helio Spring Mini on. This is a 5 inch Neutron with the race arms and the canopy options. And then I'll be running the Brother Hobby R2 2205 1750 motors with the Jim Fan 5149 props. These are my favorite props. And then the uh, Foxer Aero Pro running a Emacs 35 amp. 4-in-1 ESC with of course the Helio Spring Mini and this is I think an AKK VTX or something Axie Stubby and then TBS Crossfire uh, Nano <laughs>
it's hard to explain how well a quad flies on camera. It's kind of like trying to explain the color purple to someone who's blind. It's just something you're going to have to experience for yourself. I'm basically flying the default PIDs on the spring. Uh, all I did was change the rates to my rates and it flew beautifully. It's got that buttery smooth feeling that the Helios have and I love. So if you like the full size spring, you're going to love the Mini. It pretty much has the same features, build the same and it flies great. Just in a shrunk down 20 by 20 package. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below and give me a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.